Yeah, there we go. OK, so um, we've got through loads of stuff this term, this half term. All right. We're way over halfway what we need to do in the Lent term. So I rather than just plow on, I thought I would give you all an opportunity just to catch up a bit in the bits and pieces that where you've um, you haven't completed. OK, what I want to do, because you've all worked really hard, I, I want to avoid having to send out any of those emails where I'm asking you just to sort of catch up over um, over half term or something. All right. Now, I think very few of you are, are, are in that position. But if you've, we've got two lessons left, both of these are going to be catch up. So every opportunity for you just to fill in your gaps. So what I want us to do, I want you to fill in the gaps in the order one to nine of that thing that's presently on the board. OK, so we've most recently done probability trees. So I want you to start off if you haven't got full marks on that easy one, the completing the tree, then move on to the single calculation and then thirdly onto the trickier one you did yesterday. OK, now it may well be obviously if you've already done numbers one and two and you've got full marks, then you obviously go straight on to number three. And then really the rest of the um, listing in black is pretty much going back in the order of what we've done from most recent to least recent. Now, the one at the bottom in red is the extension material. That's the um, foundation paper that I set a while ago. OK, um, I've reclassified its uh, due date, which has meant it's brought it right to the front of my listing. Uh, I don't know whether it will come to the right of the front of your listing when you um, when you go on to Dr. Frost or not. OK, so I am looking for you guys to make to be working these two lessons. This isn't just sort of like an optional extra. This is an opportunity for you to be, as I said, filling in the gaps. So I want you still to be asking questions. Um, any of those um, past paper and any of the questions I've set I can share my screen with to help you and same with that IGCSE foundation though I think there's sort of three or four of you who are pretty much bang up to date so you might be straight on to number nine but do just check that you've done all the others first so do don't just go straight to it but I'm more than happy to help you um, with that too because really you know with third form set three if you're already in a position you can do most of a, a foundation paper you know you're, you're in good nick so anyone got any queries on what we're doing today and tomorrow our last two lessons um sir it's harriet hello harriet i was just wondering because i actually missed the lesson for number eight so i have a gap there okay so that's uh, fine what go, go on over to you so yeah i was just wondering if you could sort of yeah. give a brief description yeah, of what i meant to do yeah absolutely what i'll do harriet after i finish the recording I will. Um, I'll go and bring up the, what I did, and I'll, I'll just present that again. Okay. okay thank you. So, um, Ed. So I'll do number eight. Is there anyone else feel they've got a gap, and they wouldn't mind me just running over something again? Well, we'll have a think about it. You can ask me later. Okay. So I'm going to stop the recording now. Um, you don't have to, but it'd be really nice if some of you pop your cameras on. It gets a bit lonely at my end when I'm just um, staring at a whole bunch of dots. Um, so I've just stopped the recording. I've stopped the recording. OK, so cameras on would be great. Thank you, Hudson. You're always it's always nice that you join in. So what I'm going to do then to start